There is no economic justification for, for, for the measures coming out of the United States. We have a strong belief, not only in German, but in European business, uh, that, that the consumers on both sides of the Atlantic will pay for this political decision. And we clearly support the, um, uh, the reaction of the European institution, uh, which gives a clear signal, uh, which is decisive, but not uh, overreacting. Uh, what we fear most is, is a spiral of intervention prevention and protectionism uh, when, uh, when we see that uh, the effects uh, will, will hit not just only America and Europe, but will, will be widely spread over the world economy. I just want to pick up on something you said there. You said you're fully behind the EU's response. Uh, and of course, the EU have responded with their own retaliatory measures to the tune of about 2.8 billion euros. But then you also say that you want to avoid this turning into a tit-for-tat competition and uh, more protectionism. So uh, don't you think that perhaps maybe the EU could have taken the moral high ground here and stepped away? Uh, no, I think I think uh, what what would have been a false reaction, uh, overreaction. This is not an overreaction. This is a a reasonable reaction to what Theresa May rightly called an unjustified political intervention. And um, uh, to, to quote another uh, uh, UK prime minister, it was Edward Heath who said protectionism is the institutionalization of economic failure. And this is actually what, what, what we see. Uh, we don't see any um, uh, uh, good impact on, on, on a spiral of uh, protectionism. Um, uh, competition is the driving force uh, of, of uh, uh, what, what, what makes a company successful. And and what we see now from the American side is uh, for, that for political reason, uh, uh, all these welfare benefits will, will be thrown away uh, if, we, uh, if we don't come back on, on the negotiation issue. And, and the reaction of the, the EU says we, we don't take your, your action as positive. We, we make a limited uh, reaction, but a call for coming back on negotiation is included as well. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.